Grand Sport Fever 2 has just released on console, so today I'm in the deluxe edition of the game on the controller edition, and we're gonna check out all the new stuff. You're gonna wanna stick around for this. Okay, so here we are inside the game. Let's get some basic stuff started over here. I'm seeing a lot of opportunity for light rail routes. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? <laughs> um, right, so let's check out these new vehicles by creating some routes, and I'm seeing a good opportunity here. But first, let me let you know that I've got three mods installed. I've got the sandbox mode, which allows me to place and destroy industries and cities. I've also got the unlock all vehicles mod, uh, which comes with the game. And I've got the deluxe edition package installed as well. So let's check out these new vehicles. All along this waterfront, there's some really good coastal locations. So let's go to the ships, first of all. So we can find a good place for this. Here's a great spot, Mumbai and Kobe. Kobe? Kobe? I don't know. <laughs> Kobe Bryant? <laughs> so we'll grab our passenger harbour and we're going to find a good spot for this. Now I'm thinking here is probably the best spot for it. As long as we can find a good place. There we go. Just like that where the docks are actually in navigatable waters. A.K.A. they're deep enough. We can go to roads and we can hook this road up to this road. And then just bring a little bit of a road out here. It's not pretty. Okay, so now we've got one. I'm going to go around all these local harbours and put down some ports. Okay, brilliant. Now we have a couple in this local area. We can actually place down a shipyard, which is where we buy ships, otherwise known as a depot. As Transport Fever 2 is a game that progresses through time, not all of these ships will be available. This one here is from 1990, this one from 1950, etc. But something that you regular players probably won't recognise is the Meridian Ferry. This is a DLC vehicle, which I have just got my hands on. Let's check it out. Let's buy a couple. Very, very nice looking ships indeed. But we're going to need to transport people to the actual dock. So let's go and get some road vehicles going. So Kobe or Kobe, in fact, you know what? Let me just hang on. Okay, so this city has a really great opportunity for light rail. I'm going to do very basic light rail in terms of I'm going to just do streetcars, not like proper light rail because it's very easy. But let's do this by going to road and then go to tools and the tram tool. Let's upgrade some of these lines. So we're going to want to do that one there and that one there definitely for a turnaround point. Uh, you know what we could do actually? Let's go ahead to streets and we'll just connect this one just there. Into These roads are a flipping nightmare. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll go back to tools now and we can connect that and undo that one. There we go. And then now we can go around here a bit. Let's just have a look at the land use. Bit of a tricky one this one because they're kind of all over the place but most of the commercial is over here where the terminal is. That's fine, and um, we can just run a tram up this road here, maybe. A very basic setup, but it should do the job. We can now go to a new line. I'm not going to bother naming them because it would take too much time, because we know what they are, really. And then now we can do that one. I'm also going to do it for the other side of the track, so we'll go the other way around. And then now we can place down a tram depot. Now, if you play this game before, you probably think, well, these are just what we've seen before. There's nothing new here. Actually, no. Pretty much all of these vehicles have been completely overhauled, and they look superb, like so much better. And let's get the new DLC tram, the Toyama 8000. We'll get a few of those as well. All right, this is the Toyama 6000. Very, very pretty tram indeed. And I tell you what, this tram is going to look incredible, I think, in a multiple unit fashion. Tying a couple together, I think that'll look really nice. To have that as like a train version, I think that's 100% going to happen. Because it just, it, it screams to me, like, tie multiple together. Like, have three. I don't know, that's what it's just saying to me. That's that one. Now this city's got pretty decent transport. So let's go over to the mainland and let's put some proper beefy transport down. We've done light infrastructure, but this is beefy. Okay, cool. We'll grab some tracks. This is going to be the most basic railway ever. But I want to show you the new stuff because it's super cool. The moment most players are here for, it's train time. Let's check it out. Okay, newbies, check this out. Look how many trains you can buy. There is so many. There is literally, there is so many trains in this game. Anyway, a new one. I think this is a strongly requested one because it is a classic piece of engineering. The Intercity 125, a train built in 1975 that is still in service today. What a good train, honestly. We're going to get a couple of these trains, so we'll buy just the two of those for now. But I can't afford that. Okay. <laughs> in that case, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> so I just waited five minutes, and I got just a little bit of money to keep the business afloat. Nothing too much, though. So we'll go back here. We'll buy another one of these into City 125s. Do you know what? I'm going to just hold the down key and see what train we get. So stop. We got the 260 Mogul. All right, we'll grab that one. We'll also grab some carriages for this train. One of those. <laughs> I'm just adding trains from all over the world. Uh, there we go. We'll buy that one and we'll also put that onto this line. Lovely stuff. We should see these trains coming out. Let's check out this Intercity 125. Mmm, yes. That looks really nice. Very nice. Very long as well. Just look at those wheels. They, they look photorealistic. Brilliant. And the interior is so high quality. What the hell? We've also got the Mogul coming up. 
with uh, Chinese, <laughs> Chinese passenger cars. What's that one? American, 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 Russian, and American. There is so much more detail than there used to be. Like, look at look at this. We got rivets and stuff. Fantastic work from the developers. Really good stuff. I really can't be bothered to build a train line from here, like all the way over to like say one of these cities. I tell you what, let's fix it. We'll go to planes. We're going to build a passenger airport. Perfect. We'll grab a new line and we'll make these to these new airports. If I can find the airport. <laughs> this map is so huge. I found it. It was hiding. <laughs> totally. Okay. Let's have a look at this new plane. Here we go. We've got the existing planes. A lot of them have been reskinned. Like the DC-4, you can tell, is, is much better looking than what it was. Okay. The new plane is the McDonnell Douglas DC-10-30. We also got the McDonnell Douglas cargo version. We'll grab that one. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. That looks brilliant. Wow. Let's have a look at the takeoff here. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Lovely stuff. Special little button. You can press this one and let's just choose, let's say, like a green. And there you go. We've got a green plane. How good's that? Little bits, you know, they, they really, really are cool. I don't like green. We'll go for a pink. I like pink. Pink is a cool colour. <laughs> pink Airlines. A light rail system isn't that appropriate in this town because there's actually two towns really close together, but this road in between is quite a large stretch with no stops, which a bus is more suited for. But luckily, get this, they've added a new bus as well. So let's check that one out. By the way, if you have something in mind that you want to get, say for example, stone or, or passengers, you can press Y and then sort by. So I'm going to sort by passengers. You can see all of these buses are the ones that actually carry passengers. But the one we're interested in, it's the Citroen U55 Chorus City Rama. And let me say, what a bloody bonkers bus this is. It looks absolutely insane. So we'll grab a couple of these. Oh my days. What is that? It, that is insane. It's like something out of the future. How many people does it hold? 25 in the base game. That's a lot of people. I believe the biggest one in the game holds 26. Yeah, 26. The fact that that one is a flipping bendy bus. This one is just like a standard ass bus and it holds one less person. Crazy. I can definitely see this being OP in the game. Wow. But what an insane looking vehicle. So I'm skipping over a lot of stuff here. There's also loads more new animals, little glitch fixes, all that sort of thing. But I'm going to just gloss over those. If you're playing Transport Fever 2, you're coming for the transport. You want to see these amazing vehicles. But one thing of note that I just need to show you is my favorite new soundtrack of this game. Is this Jaws? <laughs> they added so many. In the words of some random American Southern radio, this one's for you truckers. <laughs> Connect these roads quickly. So once again, so many vehicles. In fact, not all of the vehicles in game are actually a part of the free game. There's so many more vehicles that are actually hidden away in the files, but I haven't got them unlocked, obviously, because this is a showcase, but maybe for another day. So if that interests you, check it out. There's a lot of vehicles from the campaign you can get your hands on. This is the Kenworth box truck, the Kenworth steak truck, and the Kenworth tanker truck. And you guessed it, it's the Kenworth tipper truck. <laughs> so we'll get those guys and we're going to stick this on to a new line as well. Here they come out the depot. I think these are American if I'm uh, not mistaken. These look like the trucks from, you know, GTA? Are those airport trucks? Oh yeah. All right. Well, I, I definitely, definitely see myself uh, using these on some of my airports. Okay. All right. Ideas racing through my head. <laughs> anyway, the one truck that can actually haul something on this line <laughs> is the log skeleton truck. Subscribe if you enjoyed. And I really recommend you check out this playlist, which teaches you some of the most essential tricks and tips in Transport Fever 2.